Assalamu alaikum. Today we will solve exercise 43a from mathematics 1. Number 1. Number 1 says three angles of a quadrilateral are 50 degree, 78 degree and 84 degree. Find the 14. So what is the quadrilateral? Quadrilateral means it has four sides and four angles. So in this four angle only three angles are given. Suppose I want to draw this type of quadrilateral right now. Okay. So in this quadrilateral, suppose this one is a quadrilateral. Look at it. It has four sides. How many sides? One, two, three, and four. Four sides. Four different, different sides or same side in there. So there are different types of quadrilateral are there. And in this quadrilateral, there are four angles also. So if you think that this one is 50 degree, this one is 78 degree, and this one is 84 degree. Suppose. Then what will be the fourth angle? We have to find out the fourth angle. We know that sum of four angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree. So if we add these three angles and if we subtract the summation of these three angles from 360 degree, then we will get the fourth angle. Okay. So how will you write in the exam? We can write in this way. And this is the best. So given, given, given three angles, three angles, angles of a quadrilateral, of a quadrilateral, of a quadrilateral is 50 degree, 78 degree and 84 degree. Therefore, fourth angle will be fourth angle, fourth angle will be 360 degree minus 50 degree plus 78 degree plus 84 degree. So 360 degree minus after adding 50, 78 and 84, we get 8 plus 4, 12, we have 1. 16 plus 5, 20, 2, 1, 2 degree. Then after subtracting 2, 1, 2 degree from 360 degree, we get 10 minus 2, that will be 8, 1 will be there, 6 minus 2, that will be 4. And 3 minus 2, that will be 1. So 1, 4, 8 degree. And that is the final answer. So 1, 4, 8. Degree. Number 2 says three angles of a quadrilateral are x degree, 2x degree, and 360. Fine. The fourth angle in terms of x given three angles, three angles, three angles of a quadrilateral of a quadrilateral quadrilateral are x degree, two x degree, and five six degree. So what will be the fourth angle? We know that sum of four angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. So fourth angle will be 360 degree minus x degree plus 2x degree plus 3x degree. Then our final answer should be 360 degree minus 6x degree. And this is the answer of number two. So fourth angle will be 360 minus 660. Now number three, number three says the angles of a quadrilateral are z degree, 2z degree, 3z degree, and 4z degree. Find z. So that is very simple one. We are just adding this four angle and then we'll simplify, then we get the final answer. So summation of these four angles will be 360. After, after simplifying this equation, we can find out the value of z. We will write in this given, given the angles, the angles, the angles of a quadrilateral, of a quadrilateral, quadrilateral are, are z degree, 2z degree, 3z degree and 4G and 4G. Okay. And we know that 
sum of four angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. So sum of four angles, angles of a quadrilateral, of a quadrilateral, quadrilateral is 360 degrees. Therefore, according to the question, we can write z degree plus 2z degree plus 3z degree plus 4z degree is equal to 360 degrees. Now, we have to simplify this equation. How do we simplify? 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. So, tangent degree equal to 360 degrees. Therefore, z degree will be 360 degree divided by 10. Then our final answer will be 36 degrees. Now, number 4. Number 3 and number 4 both are same, but at number 4, the angles are given in the ratio. The angles of the quadrilateral are in the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 5 is to 6. Find them. In a similar way, we can solve it. So, we will write in this way, let, let the angles, angles of a quadrilateral, of a quadrilateral are 5x degree, 4x degree, 5x degree, and 6x degree. So, according to the question, we can write sum of these four angles is 360 degrees. So, 36 degree plus 4x degree plus 5x degree plus 6x degree is equal to 360 degrees. Now, we have to add these four angles. 6 plus 5, 11. 11 plus 4, 15. 15 plus 3, 18. 18x degree equal to 360 degree. Then what will be the measurement of x degree? That will be 360 degree by 18. And x degree will be 20 degree. So now we have to find out this angle. So how can we find out? We can write in this way. Angles are, are 36 degree. That will be. 3 multiplied by 20 degree is equal to 60 degree. 4x degree is equal to 4 multiplied by 20 degree is equal to 80 degree. 5x degree is equal to 5 multiplied by 20 degree is equal to 100 degree. And 6x degree will be 6 multiplied by 20 degree that will be 120 degree. And interesting thing is that if we add 60 degree, 80 degree, 100 degree and 120 degree, then we we'll get the total angle will be 360 degree. Okay. In this way, we can easily solve number four. Now, number five. Number five says, find the sum of the interior angles of a convex polygon of nine side. That is very easy one. But we have to understand some basic thing. How can you solve this problem? If I draw a three side polygon, that is a triangle, in this triangle there are three sides and three angles. So if we add this three angle, it will be 180 degrees. In a similar way, if we look at four sides, it means quadrilateral, that is four angles, then it can create two triangles, one and two. So, 2 triangle means 2 multiplied by 180. If I draw a pentagon, that is 5 side and 5 angle, 5 angle, then we can easily say it can create actually 3 triangles. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So, here we know that every triangle represents 180 degrees. That means sum of three angles of a triangle is 180. So every triangle represents 180. So three triangle will represent three multiplied by 180. Next, six side, six angle. That is called hexagon. If we look at hexagon, it can create actually four triangle. 
And we know that each triangle represents 180 degrees. So four triangles really represent four multiplied by 180. So if we look at it properly, we'll see that if three angles or three sides is given, then that is 180. Four angle or four side, two multiplied by 180. Five angle or five side, that is three multiplied by 180. Six angle or six side, that will be four multiplied by 180. And we can easily form a formula from this four sequence. What is it? First of all, if we subtract two from the number of the side of a polygon and multiply it by 180, then we can easily form this formula. What about four minus two multiplied by 180? Then you can say five minus two multiplied by 180, six minus two multiplied by 180. So we can easily form a formula that is number of side minus two multiplied by 180, okay? If we know this formula, then we can easily solve these types of problems, okay? So what is the sum of the interior angles of a convex polygon of nine sets? So we can say sum of the interior, interior, angles of a convex polygon, angles of a convex polygon, convex polygon, polygon is, is n minus 2 multiplied by 180 degrees, where, where, where n equal to number of sides, n equal to number of sides. If we understand this formula, then we can easily solve. So what will be the sum of the interior, interior angles, angles of a convex polygon, convex polygon, and we have to also know what is convex mean, okay? After completing this problem, I will discuss what is convex polygon. Of nine side will be nine minus two multiplied by 180 degree. What is nine minus two? Nine minus two, that is seven. 7 multiplied by 180 degree. So, what will be the final answer? 7 is equal to 0, 7 is equal to 6, we have 5, 7 on the 7 plus 5, 12, 1, 2, 6, 0 degree. And that is the final answer of number 5. Okay? So, in this way, we can easily solve. Now, we have to understand what is convex polygon. Is. We have to understand it. We can discuss two type of polygon right now. That is concave polygon. And another one is convex polygon. Concave polygon look like this. If I draw a polygon right now, suppose this is a polygon. And this is a quadrilateral also. Look, here only four sides is given and four angles also given. And that is another quadrilateral. Here, four sides, four angles. But this one will be called concave polygon. That one will be called convex polygon. So what is the difference between concave polygon and convex polygon? Actually, the difference is the angle. In a concave polygon, one angle should be greater than 180 degree. 180 degree means straight angle. So one angle must be greater than 180 degree. That means one interior angle must be greater than 180. But in a convex polygon, every interior angle should be less than 180. Okay? That is the main difference between concave polygon and convex polygon. Okay? I hope you understand this one properly. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you soon on the next video. Until then, Allah Hafiz.